Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar on ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. Ventricular fibrillation or VF and pulseless ventricular tachycardia VT are life-threatening cardiac rhythms that result in ineffective ventricular contractions. VF is a rapid quivering of the ventricular walls that prevents them from pumping. The ventricular motion of VF is not synchronized with atrial contractions. VT is a condition in which the ventricles contract more than 100 times per minute. The emergency condition, pulseless VT, occurs when ventricular contraction is so rapid that there is no time for the heart to refill, resulting in an undetectable pulse. In both cases, individuals are not receiving adequate blood flow to the tissues. Despite being different pathological phenomenon and having different ECG rhythms, the ACLS management of VF and VT are essentially the same. Resuscitation for VF and pulseless VT starts with the BLS survey. An AED reads and analyzes the rhythm and determines if a shock is needed. The AED is programmed to only prompt the user to shock VF and VT rhythms. The machine does not know if the individual has a pulse or not. This is the primary reason you should not use an AED in someone with a palpable pulse. ACLS re responses to VF and pulseless VT within a hospital will likely be conducted using a cardiac monitor and a manual defibrillator. Thus, the ACLS provider must read and analyze the rhythm. Shock should only be delivered for VF and pulseless VT. Likewise, antiarrhythmic drugs and drugs to support blood pressure may be used. So rules for VF are as follows um, for regularity. There is no regularity shape of the QRS complex because all electrical activity is disorganized. The rate appears rapid, but the disorganized electrical activity prevents the heart from pumping. There are no P waves, there are no PR intervals present, and the ventricle complex varies. For VT, both regular and rapid wide complex tachycardia, RR intervals are usual but not always regular. The atrial rate cannot be determined. Ventricular rate is usually between 150 and 250 beats per minute. QRS complexes are not preceded by P waves. There are occasionally P waves in the strip, but they are not associated with the ventricular rhythm. And the PR interval is not measured since this is a ventricular rhythm. Rules for Tassad stay points um, or irregular wide complex tachycardia. There is no regularity. The atrial rate cannot be determined. Ventricular rate is usually between 100 and 200, or 150 and 250 beats per minute. There are no P waves present. There are no PR intervals present in the ventricle, ventricle complex varies. VF and pulseless VT are both shock rhythms. The AED cannot tell if the individual has a pulse or not. Don't forget, we offer online ACLS certification on our site. You can find a link in our description. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time with an online course um, or in an in-classroom setting. So thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. We will catch you next time.